understand the city plan for a mandatory curbside recycling program. And what would you change about it? Well, the first thing I change is we call it mandatory because it's not. Um, I was the goal leader for the Syntex Sustainability Partnership for Regional Recycling Initiative. So I have a lot of knowledge in this area. The very first thing we need to do is get this rate study back. We need to ensure that the, uh, the study that we, we guide, you know, the, the contractors doing it is probably the foremost expert in the nation, and make sure that we have an incentive-based system. What I mean by an incentive-based system is a pay-as-you-throw system, which is exactly what Clean has now, but we need to add some incentive to it, to where if I recycle and I'm prudent of our resources, it should cost me less. If I want to waste my resources and throw everything in the landfill, it's going to cost all of us someday, I should pay more. Um, and then if I don't want to recycle, I don't have to recycle, but I should have to pay for it. Clean system, current system is $3.12 difference between the smallest and largest. Austin's is $20.15. And I favor a system like that that encourages recycling so that we can bring money back into the, uh, the city. Thank you, Mr. Walker. Thank you. Um, well, I don't think about single stream recycling as an additional program to complement the curbside that we do and the standard solid waste to go. Uh, I, I tend to think of it as a uh, very necessary reacclimation restructuring for the way that we do our solid waste model. Um, we do operate solid waste as an enterprise fund. Um, it has rates that come in and it has costs that go out. And when we look at the timeline for our existing landfill space and we think about the fees that we have to accrue there and we think about the gas that we have to use to pay over there, um, I think it becomes apparent that some form of single stream recycling is necessary. Uh, I'm excited to get the rate study back from the contractor that's working on it. Um, I actually feel confident that Council will be able to look at a lot of options and see if there, uh, in particular, are some cost savings in there. Um, I would be interested too in seeing if maybe we could have, as Mr. Phillips said, keep our three sides then. So, thank you. Thank you. And then, yes, on recycling, I feel that we do not need a mandatory, uh, uh, a mandatory study for people to do recycling. But I do believe that the citizens of the lane should have an input in the recycling rate. I think that we need to discuss this rate and find out from other cities what are they doing about recycling, what are their prices are, and let the citizens of the lane decide on what they would like to do. Uh, streamline, single streamline recyclers where you put everything into the bin at, at one time, but um, on the curb side, you can only put like paper and bottles in there. So I think that it should be left up to the citizen to decide what do they want to do about the recycling effort. Why should a citizen pay $20 for a 96 gallon container if they're not going to use but a 10 gallon container? I don't think that's very fair. I think that we need to have fairness for the citizens of Colleen and they need to have input in the recycling program. Thank you. Ms. Crawford? Yes, thank you. And as I mentioned uh, in my opening statement, I would, I would advocate for the recycling program of any kind to be on the ballot initiative. I just don't think it's uh, appropriate for seven people to make a, a decision for 100, close to 140,000 people. Everyone should have a say so. In that, there would be, I, I would assume that there would be an array of, of, of programs that we may utilize. We do need to recycle. Yes, we need to. We do need to decrease our footprint in landfills, but at the same time, um, we start talking about mandatory, it's just a dirty word, and that's something uh, people will not do if they're forced to do. I think we, the education piece belongs there, and that the education, is, uh, education piece is put in place, and people will become more cognizant of the other recycling program. I know I do with uh, Walmart, uh, sometimes I go over with uh, get four items and get 12 bags. And so that's, we have to be more conscious, but I, I believe people will do the right thing. Thank you, Mr. Person. Uh, yes, recycling is something that we need to be all participating in. It's kind of new for most of us. Uh, we're not really used to recycling, but the landfills are filling up and to handle our garbage and our trash is very expensive. We all pay a lot for that. The TCEQ rules, uh, the EPA rules, those are all very, very stringent and they're hard for the, to comply with and cost money to comply with. 
So the less uh, material we take to a landfill, the better off we are. And actually, I like Mr. Doyle's idea. There's got to be an incentive. I don't think it has to be mandatory, but there should be an incentive. If I'm willing to go through the effort of uh, recycling my material, then I should pay less. Or if I don't want to recycle it, I don't mind paying more. I thought that was a pretty good start for an idea. Thank you, Mr. Rivera. I believe sometime in your life, in your own home, you spoke about recycling. I believe recycle should not be mandatory. I believe they is using that word quite a bit. I believe what they're saying is to pass a policy to have recycling. Myself, I believe in recycling. It's funny how you ask our citizen to put something like this in the ballot, and when they raise taxes, we don't put it in the ballot to vote on it. Our citizen has placed us in a position and we should do the best what we can for our citizens. But recycle is something that we need sooner or later in our city for the benefit of my grandsons and your grandson. We need to recycle. Mandatory, again, I think it's being misused. We just need a good policy in place. Thank you. Sometimes it's best to be last. I agree with so many of the things that these wonderful people up here have said about recycling. I do think that it's very important. I think in our case, it almost must be mandatory because people won't do it and won't work to save the environment and, and keep our landfills not so full if it isn't mandatory. We currently have where people can choose to recycle and have a small bin that's picked up and very few people do that choice. And so in some ways, it must be that everyone participates. We're way behind the rest of the world. If you look at the whole world as a whole, most of the world has been doing recycling for a very long time. And our neck of the woods, as it were, is much behind the rest of the world. I think we have to come and step up in that area. Um, I do think we should be able to keep the various sizes of containers because there are a lot of elderly people and a lot of people that don't use as much of their containers space, so I'd like to see that kept as well. Thank you. Our next question, if you like, what would 